Welcome to the Wednesday, August 15th, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Moark Eggs. In today's video, 2012 U.S. pork exports continue to fall, and later the industry ponders the future of the turkey breast meat market. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. In Ernerberry's continued effort to provide our customers with the most up-to-date market news and information, we've implemented a new Comtel Spotlight email service. With the new Comtel Spotlight, Ernerberry will now be sending our subscribers a weekly message consisting of a significant center of the plate market trend accompanied with expert market analysis from one of Ernerberry's market reporters. The Spotlight will show users how to access and display the information through Comtel, empowering them to make their best business decisions. In today's Comtel Spotlight, Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsing takes a look at the latest trend in salmon markets. Two to three pound fresh detrimmed Chilean salmon fillets hit a 52 week low on August 9, 2012. The farm salmon market as a whole has been very weak for the past several weeks due to ample supplies and a lackluster demand in the U.S. spot market. In fact, many smaller to mid-sized fresh Canadian whole fish items have also hit 52-week lows along with 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 pound fresh detrimmed Chilean fillets, reaching Comtel database lows. Pricing is continuing to react to the increase in supply of farm fillets from Chile. Thus far in 2012, with the most up-to-date data being June of this year, the U.S. has imported from Chile 76.1 million pounds of fresh fillets, which is 95.7% over last year at the same time. Thanks, Michael. Look out for more of our weekly Comtel Spotlights in your inbox and for information for non-subscribers on how to obtain your Spotlight message, call our expert customer service staff at 1-800-932-0617. Now here's Erner Berry's pork market reporter Russell Barton discussing the U.S.'s latest pork export figures, noting the continued decline in exports that the industry has experienced since the start of 2012. The recently released USDA pork export report for June showed that what many suspected, a continuation of the downward trend seen since January. Coming in just shy of 408.9 million pounds, U.S. pork exports fell 10.12% from May and nearly 20% from January. We remain elevated over 2011 levels, however July looks to be the make or break month. During July of 2011, exports increased by 3.4% from June. If we lose another 4% or more in July, which would actually only constitute the second most conservative monthly decline of the year, the 2012 trend line will be the, for the first time fall under that of 2011. Without China in the mix and many of the world's economies notably weaker this year than last, this trend line crossover doesn't seem as far-fetched as it did earlier in the year. Thanks, Russell. To wrap up today's video, poultry market reporter James Serpico reports on the condition of the turkey breast meat market as the cold cut season winds down. With cold cut season beginning to wind down, the clock is ticking towards the conclusion of a difficult market period. Two things made it especially trying. The first being excellent livability and feed conversion during the winter of 2011 through 2012. This provided plenty of breast meat. The second is arguable, but will stick with the obvious high cost of inputs. Others will no doubt point to demand which was negatively influenced by the lack of disposable income and everything that is tied into the current state of the U.S. economy, and they wouldn't be wrong. When looking at the year-to-date, however, breast meat values don't seem so bad. The year-to-date average ranks third highest ever behind 2007 and 2011. What's been disappointing, however, has been the market performance during the time of the year the industry counts on the most. Over the past decade, the 2012 July and August monthly averages are among the lowest, taking spot number seven out of the past 10 years. When combined with feed costs and despite recent improvement, market values have definitely not provided much inspiration. So naturally, players question what the upward potential might be from this point forward. Today's chart takes a look at market advances over the past decade, beginning on August 15th and going to the highest Ernerberry quotation before it finally winds down for the year. Of course, there's no guarantee that past performance will have anything to do with the market in this day and age, but we still can't help but wonder what's next for breast meat. Thanks, James. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.